Saturday was a birthday. Hello. Hey folks, it's Pryopolar, and welcome back to another redstone tutorial. I know the last one wasn't very legit. <laughs> Bedrock <laughs> breaking. Not really. <laughs> anyway, um, today I'm going to be showing how to use the slash execute command. Now, the slash execute command is a command that is coming out in 1.8, or the latest snapshots if you're using those. I am. Um, but I'm just, this video is coming out a bit before 1.8 so that people can see it and just know how to use it before the actual update comes out. So I'm going to give you two descriptions of slash execute, my description and um, the Minecraft wiki's description. So my description is slash execute is a command that enables commands in command blocks to be activated via a player or entity. Um, I hope that's not too like commandy. It's got a lot of command words in there. But the Minecraft wiki um, its definition is runs command as though it was executed through player or entity and as though player or entity was located at XYZ. Now you can use relative um, coordinates for this instead of having the actual XYZ coordinates you can have relative coordinates using that symbol. Um, that's not too hard to use you just need to instead of having the XYZ coordinates just have that, that little symbol. Um, where was I? The command will be run as though player or entity has operator level permission. This makes it possible to summon entities um, and create slash remove blocks relative to players and entities, among other things. So let's get right into it. Um, I've got a long line of command blocks set up, along with some connected to clocks. Um, that will just be able to show off how slash execute works. So the first thing you need to do with slash, slash execute and you need to type slash execute, funnily enough. And you need to have either a player or a mob. Um, why did I go American just then? Player or mob um, selector. And then you can have relative coordinates or you can have chosen coordinates. And then you need to have the command. I'll type slash execute into here. Oopsies. Execute. So, as you can see, you need to type the slash execute command. I just pointed at my screen. Well, then you need to do either player or entity, like at um, the at symbol and then A, or at symbol then E, and then you can do the type. And then you need to do the coordinates, and then you need to do the command. So what I've done here is I've got the execute command for all players, which, seeing as it's a single player world, it's just me. I'm all alone. And then the command which is set block, and that will set an emerald block beneath me, wherever I am, re wherever I, relative to me, wherever I am. So as you can see, I pressed the button, and the emerald block got placed beneath me. If I do it over here, beneath me, here, beneath me, here, beneath me. Then if I go all the way down here, you'll see here beneath me, here beneath me. So just anywhere I, I go, the emerald block will be placed because it will be placed relative to me, like. It's just, it's just, instead of me typing slash set block, um, it, whatever it is, I can't remember, um, below me, um, it's just doing it through a command. So this is really useful for map makers. It can be really powerful. I've read a few articles like saying, um, slash execute is way too OP. Um, yeah, it really is. It's so op. Anyway, so on to the next thing. So as it said in the wiki, and you can have, um, the entities as well that the command can be run through the entities as well so what I've got here is I've got wherever there is a pig there will be uh, in the world there will be the a block of gold will be placed underneath the pig sorry I'm getting a bit tongue tied so there's a pig when I press the button a piece of gold gets placed underneath it when I move the pig over to there gold when I move the pig over to here gold so yeah, so that is, it's really powerful. I'm just going to kill the pig now. Um, it can be used, I don't know, like just to place water underneath people, to place lava underneath people. It's just, it's really powerful. Anyway, on to the next one. You can also do slash summon. So, slash execute for all players, and then the command, which is slash summon. This is a, a really, 
<laughs> really cool thing. I love this so much. Just ready? Wait for it. Boom! Rainbow sheep falling from the clouds. So what I have done here is I've got the slash execute command, blah, blah, blah. And then I have got the slash summon sheep with the name Jeb, which was a little cool thing found out by some people, uh, I think, at the start of 1.7. I can't remember. It just summoned me above, uh, relative to me, above me. So wherever I am, the slash execute command will run it as though I um, did slash summon, causing the sheep to be dropped from the sky down towards wherever I am. Okay, now kill the sheep. Next up, we've got so a pig summon. So it will do again slash execute wherever a pig is. It will slash summon another pig, and its name will be Parky. It will summon it ten blocks above. So, boom. And now wherever. So now there are two pigs. So now another two pigs will be dropped because it will summon it wherever relative to wherever the pigs are. Can you what? I know you're trying to be a redstone genius, but I'm sorry, that position's vacated, um, that's positions for Sethling. I'm sorry, you, you can't, you, you just can't. I'm sorry, sorry Porky. Which one's Porky? Okay, that one. Anyway, so now I'll summon two pigs, and now I'll summon another four pigs, because wherever the pigs are, I'll summon another pig, and another, and then move out of the way, and then another, 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 Oh, so it can either be really powerful or really funny. <laughs> so, many, so many pigs. Anyway, moving on to the next part of sex execute. Um, you can also do it to summon particles um, re relative to a player's position. So I have got this command here to um, well, wrong one. Um, to summon the particle fireworks spark, which is just a slash particle, is another new command coming out in 1.8. Um, 10 blocks above me, 10 blocks relative to my position above me, so wherever I am, it will summon these particles, if I go down, wait, is it this one, if I go down here, it will summon it above me, so that's also a really cool feature which um, I'm thinking about using in a, a, in a map, like someone um, is capturing the flags and all that, capture the flag games are a bit old, but it's, it's really powerful for map makers, it's really cool, I love this command. Anyway, moving on to the mob particles here, this is basically just the same, it will summon particles above the pig, so like that, see the particles above the pig, and then, yep, just, uh, it doesn't really work with more than one, oh whoopsies, it doesn't really work with more than one pig for some reason, like, it, it doesn't summon the particles above both the pigs, which is weird, um, I'm not really sure why. So moving on to the other ones. So now this is where it gets really cool. Really cool for map makers. Um, so as you can see, I've got a clock here. Um, the comparative clocks don't work very well for some reason. Connected to a command block, which has just got the same command, slash execute. Oh, whoops, that needs to be all place. Um, and set block below me, an emerald block. So, ciao. So wherever I walk now, emerald blocks are going to be summoned beneath me. And you can even jump up and the emerald blocks will be somewhere beneath me to make, like, um, pillars. And I can walk down to make staircases. It's it's really cool command. Um, you can also do this. Wait, I need to break this. Oh, don't break the command blocks. I can also do this with mobs. So I'll summon a little piggy here. And so wherever the piggy walks, I'll just... He summons gold beneath him. He's got the Midas touch, which was actually um something made by Sethling. Um... It, you can go check it out on his channel, it was, it was really cool, like wherever the player walks it turns gold and if you touch mobs and stuff it turns gold. That's also done through the slash execute command. So anyway, I need to kill the piggies and I'll turn that clock off. On to the next one, which is the player summon too. So yet again I'm going to be summoning sh rainbow sheep above me, but now there will be an endless torrent of rainbow sheep. Rainbow sheep falling from the sky. What is this? What is this? <laughs> Just <laughs> what? What is this game? What is this game? <laughs> I need to turn off that clock. What is this? <sighs> oh well. So yeah, that's just another thing you can do. And now to the mob summon too. So now wherever a pig is, pigs are gonna fall from the sky. 
onto it. Oh, lagathon! This is gonna crash my game. What? What? What have I done? Break it! Break it all! Ah! Uh, no! No! <laughs> no! Uh, I'm almost there. Is it? It's it's gonna crash. What? 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 Wish? Wish? Ah! Uh, welcome back, folks. Um. I had to go into MC Edit and delete the command block and kill all the piggies. Oh, I did not anticipate that happening. I probably should have tested that before I did the video. Anyways, <laughs> that was awful. Oh, as you can see, the mob summon two thing is just there. Anyway, um, let's put that behind us. I'm just going to kill all the sheep. I don't want them here. Sorry, any sheep lovers. Sheep. Um, moving on. That was quite an experience. Moving on to the player particles connected to the clock. This will also lag a bit, so I'm just going to do it briefly. So as you can see, it's just summoning just cloud of particles above me. You can do this with any particles. I just decided to do it with the firework particles because they look pretty cool. Um. Anyway, moving on to the mob particles. And now we've got... Uh, piggies. Why? Why piggies? Look, and now the pigs... Wait, what? Wait, what? 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 Oh, wait, what? What, 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 what? Why did the clock just do that? Anyway, I think it just spazzed out. Okay, so wherever the pig goes, the particles. Come on, piggy, get over here. Wherever the pig goes, the particles will be 10 blocks above it, I think. Yeah, 10 blocks above. Anyway, now I'm gonna kill the pig. Oh, man, I've just had so much taken out of me because of that lag out. Like, it, I had to close the game and reopen it and then go into MC Edit. It was, ew, it was just terrible. I've never really had Minecraft crash that bad before. Anyway, moving on to a really, really cool thing, which I um, I made during while I was on holidays a few days ago. Um, so this is an execute command, which will test which wherever there is an arrow, it will set a diamond block. So, oops, oh, <laughs> I didn't even set the um, set the clock running. So as you can see, there was a diamond block over there because that's where an arrow was. Now wherever there is an arrow there's going to be a diamond block, so I can just spam arrows and diamond blocks will just appear. So as you can see, this this command is really, really cool for map making. Like, I don't know, you can make like um targets with these, like you have to shoot the invisible target and huh, it's, it's, it's so much to do, so much to do with this command, like, honestly. Anyway, I'm just going to break that clock. Uh, moving on to the next one. So now this is going to... Wait, what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot about that. I need to break all these arrows first. So you can probably already tell what it's going to do. Wherever there is an arrow, it's going to summon some Jeb sheep, some rainbow sheep. Um, wow. Ugh, I'm going to kill all the arrows just so that I can show you afresh. And... I need to set the clock on. Ah, wrong clock. <laughs> wow, episode of failure as much. Uh, and kill all the arrows again. And moving on to this one. Finally, finally I can do it. So now wherever there is an arrow, it's going to spawn a Jeb sheep, a rainbow sheep. <laughs> this is this is so cool, just shooting sheep out of the sky. Uh, it's like alien invaders. They're just invisible alien invaders that you're shooting down. If you don't want if you just want to like summon sheep that don't get like shot down, you can um and kill the sheep. You can just use this. You can just make the sheep spawn like three blocks higher than or something like that. However many you want. And I'll just summon streams of sheep. Just, just, ra <laughs> it's a rainbow. I'm summoning a rainbow. <laughs> this is so good. Oh, I love this game. It's uh, just sheep rainbows. And you can do the same for the um for the command blocks. Hang on, just break that. You can do the same for the diamond blocks if you want. You can just make the diamond blocks go three blocks above it. And now wherever the arrow is, it'll just summon a stream of diamonds. That's pretty cool. It's a really cool command. I would seriously recommend checking it out if you're a map maker and you're going to be making maps in 1.8. It's it's just re it's really good. Anyway, moving on to the next one. Which one's the next one? Break that. Um. 
we've got the arrow set block too. Now this is something that is really cool. It's a, it's I figured this out um when I was just messing around. Um you can what? You can make um wherever there an arrow is, an arrow is um I just repeated myself. You can make water spawn. So this is really cool if you want to make like um some water parkour or something like that. I don't know. It's just it's just another really cool thing. Like you can even summon lava. It's just really cool. Ooh. That's cool. Anyway, I'm just gonna kill the arrows. And moving on to the next, I think it's like this third last command block. Uh, yeah, second last command block. <clears throat> it's this really okay. It's really dangerous. I'm gonna. Did I kill all the arrows? <clears throat> yeah, I did. Anyway, I'm gonna move over here. It's so dangerous and it's so loud. So prepare to turn down your volume. Honestly. Okay, so what I've got going on over here, I'll just go back to it. I know I said I was going to move away, but shut up. Um, what I've got going on over here is the execute command is going to summon a prime TNT wherever there is an arrow, and it's just going to explode. Now, what I've found out with this, well, you'll see for yourself what happens, is that the TNT constantly makes the arrow go higher. So therefore, with the clock... The TNT constantly goes higher. Whoopsies, I didn't turn off the water clock. That was silly. And just go over here and turn that off. Uh, I've made some really, really weird things with this. So, ready? Boom. It's just... Look, Eric, if you just bow spam. <laughs> oh, they're like missiles. Oh, they ju they're just going to keep going up forever, but luckily they've gone out my render distance, otherwise they'll lag me way too much. So, uh, if you summon them on the ground, they'll just... Ah, uh, I can't even hear myself. I'm just going to summon one below ground just to show its destructive power. It's this, this so crazy. Uh, uh. Oh, wow. Wow. Is it over? So yeah, that's what you can do with slash HQ. I'm turning that clock off. That That's just way too dangerous. If you want to make some like authentic looking catacombs or caves, you can use that. But you can do that with ordinary TNT anyway. But that this just makes it look really random and like, it's so cool. You can make missiles. You can, uh, I don't know what you would do with that. It's just something random. Anyway, moving on to the last command block. This is just a bit of fun. It's raining cats and dogs. Oh my god! It's raining cats and dogs! Yeah, anyway, so this is just using the slash summon command. Um, the execute command to slash summon uh, ocelots and wolves. Wherever I am, it's just something a little fun to finish off with. Anyway, folks, I hope you all have enjoyed. If you like this video, there's a 55% chance that everything will go wrong in my life forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. So, that's... Yeah, if you want to make my life horrible, like the video. I'm joking. It would be amazing if you would like that video. What? Eh, yeah, I'm just going to... And if you subscribe, that chance is doubled. So just just like and subscribe. Just just, just do it. It's really cool. Um, I have a cool channel. I think I do. Do you like my channel? I don't know. Comment down below if you like my channel. Um, unfortunately, all good things must come to an end. So I'm afraid that this is the end of the video. Shut up! Thank you so much for watching. Till the next time. Bye, bye.